and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here in my Java Survival server. And today I am fixing my pickaxe before we do anything else because as you can see, it's very, very broken. So I'm going to put that in my off hand, I'm going to take my armor off, and I'm going to get lots and lots of tasty XP from all these pigmen because there's only me and Greybeard online and he's not in the nether, so I'm getting all the pigmen to myself, which is absolutely amazing. And that should repair my stuff in absolutely no time which is fantastic, and then we can get on with what we're going to be doing today. Well, today we're going to go a slightly different way back from the nether to my um, to my portal because we have a new route open to us. It's not a very good route, but it's a, it's a work in progress. But yeah, it involves a little bit of danger, but there's a much quicker way back to my base now. If we go down this ladder and we look over here, that area right there is the nether hood that everybody has been working on, except me. Like, look at this thing. This is absolutely, completely insane that this has all been dug out all the way up to bedrock and all the way down there, and it's been slabbed out. They've got Foxy No Tail lit up in the slabs with sea lanterns under the slabs. It's amazing. And if I just pop through this little bit up here, is it this bit? Uh, maybe it's not that bit. There was a bit where I could pop up and come back inside my base. Um, maybe it's... <laughs> No, uh oh, no, not that way. We'll, we'll we'll go this way. We nearly got there. Basically, it's up there, and I don't know. I don't know the quickest way of getting back, but it was an easy way to get in. And before we're going to do anything else, we're going to go and add somebody else to my ship of life, or whatever this thing is called. These are basically all of my subscribers that help me out in the comments. They offer me good tips. They don't just say something nice that I want to hear. They actually offer some interesting information, things like that. And the person we're going to be adding today is somebody called Aldrich. And then I just need to enable show name, and it should, hopefully... If I've done it right... Oh, come on. Don't, I've probably got the old armor stand book on, unless it's locked. Maybe it's locked. Let's try that now. There we go, Aldrich. Aldrich commented on a couple of my podcast videos, basically uh, giving me information on what they think from having worked with, well, or worked closely with the bug tracking system and things like that, and also from having talked to some of the Mojang developers themselves. So it was interesting to get some insight from that. Right, anyway, when, enough talking about adding people and things like that. Let's actually get cracking with what we are going to be doing today. And what we are going to be doing today has nothing to do with what we've been doing in my live streams. Wow, but things have gone on in here. This has changed since I was last in here. Let's have a quick look in. Yeah, on my live streams, we've been building this fish tank, which has got more cod in it than it did before. Uh, and yeah, it's looking kind of good. It's still got a lot of work to be done. It's probably a little bit overgrown on the bottom. We probably get rid of a little bit of that seagrass, so it's not quite so uh, overgrown, but it's looking really, really good. Very, very nice. Yeah, I want to get some uh, dolphins and things in here as well, which would be nice. But we're going to do that on live streams. That's not going to do it in the video. In the video, I've got a very special job to do. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that in a second. I need to have a serious sort out with these chests. We're accumulating all sorts of junk in here and it's getting very, very messy. I need to, I need to get on top of this at some point, but not right now. Right now, we have other jobs to do and we're going to go over to the town area and start those right now okay so today we're going to be working in this and this is basically a rundown old orphanage that was actually built for me on request by amazing sound val and also jedi firefly and maybe other people chipped in as well but they were the main people that worked on it i'm not going to talk about what it's for i'm not going to say what's going to go on in it but we're going to do some internal work in it because as much as the outside is absolutely amazing we need to make the inside fit for our needs. And even Val and Jedi and Amazing Sound don't know what this is going to be for yet. It's a complete secret for everybody involved. Only I know what's going on. And it's all going to be revealed very, very soon. But for now, I need to, yeah, I need to work this out. And the brief that I gave them was basically build me a really like rundown, horrible old looking orphanage with an attic and a mine underneath and some cages to keep in inverted commas like children inside. And uh, and they've done exactly what I asked for. I cannot, I cannot ask or I could not have asked for anything better. They have done an absolutely amazing job. So well done on that. But I am going to have to fiddle with it in order to make it just right for what we need. So hopefully they won't mind. And it does mean I'm going to be tearing up these carpets. But that doesn't matter too much. So what I'm going to be doing is downstairs, I'm going to be adding sort of a reception area and an office. 
and then upstairs as we go up here we're going to be adding sort of like really small rickety horrible bedrooms and making the floor look all rickety and horrible and then up in the attic again we'll just make that look like a dirty old attic space we'll put some cobwebs and maybe some hay bales and boxes and things up there make it look like a bit of a junk space so yeah all this carpet's going to have to come up sadly i don't know what we're going to do about this balcony it's a very nice balcony but in my vision wouldn't really suit having a balcony I don't know how I would incorporate little bedrooms in here unless yeah I don't know how that's going to fit so I might have to get rid of that sadly which is sad which is sad because it looks oh, I don't want to get rid of it because it's like the porch area as well um no I will incorporate it I'll find a way of incorporating it as we're moving through just here thinking if there's a fast way of getting rid of carpet and then it just occurred to me water water should wash it all away shouldn't it and uh, I, you know, it's a shame that I'm having to get rid of all this carpet, but unfortunately it just doesn't doesn't fit with my vision, sadly. And it must have took them ages to put it all down. But uh, it's just the way it goes, I'm afraid. It's just the way it is. Very nice carpet, but unfortunately it's going to have to go. Right, let's make sure this actually works then. Let's go for it. There we go. Hey, that's loads easier. That's a much better way of getting rid of the carpet. Yay! There we go, the last little tiny bit of carpet just there, and that's all the carpet completely gone. There we go, so that was a lot of carpet. Look how many stacks of carpet I've just washed away and I haven't even picked it all up. I'm very, very sorry. I'm really sorry, guys, but you will be rewarded. Don't worry, you're going to be rewarded. Whoever helped building this thing will be, will be very handsomely rewarded. And I'm not going to say what with, because that will ruin the whole thing of what we're doing here. But yeah, they will be rewarded. Now, I've got a feeling I've just got some water dripping down the outside of the building from somewhere because I clicked one of the stair blocks from the inside. It seems like we're okay. That's good then. Very good. Okay, right, let's get cracking with building this thing then. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the carpet would have stopped things spawning, wouldn't it? Right, let's just spam a few torches around the place then until we've got time to actually, uh, yeah, until we've got time to work on this bit. Whoops. Right then, there we go. We've got torches everywhere now, so we're a little bit safer, which is good. I can get some more torches out of there, put these little bits and bobs away, and then we can get cracking. So this is going to be where all the bedrooms are. We're going to have some janky floors and little tiny bedrooms and this is going to be the sort of orphanage where you really wouldn't want to be where you really really wouldn't want to be they're going to be tiny weeny little bedrooms probably not even proper beds maybe just like a little bit of carpet on the floor or something for them to sleep on it's not going to be a nice place oh look i've got arrows in me ow you guys you're so mean i'm just nipping out to the shops to get some spruce wood because i'm pretty much completely out of spruce wood so i'm going to come to uh, i think this is Greybeard's place let's make sure he's actually got some that's that's spruce yeah he's got loads what's this one diamond per stack that's pretty good let's find an ender chest and see how many diamonds we've got shall we we gave quite a lot away at christmas oh we got loads so let's grab let's grab nine stacks of spruce what am i doing yeah they're in my inventory that's okay and then uh I just noticed there's another shop or another building at least that's been yeah built just out the back of the shopping area so i want to go and have a look at that as well so let's just put that away quickly let's pop that in there and let's just have a quick fly i've only got two rockets left and this thing here look at this oh and what's this little podium what's this oh here lies authenticity diamond block for his 100th death row to 100 oh okay so when he gets to 100 deaths he gets that oh i can't see how many deaths he's got because he's not online and what's this this is an awesome looking building what is it what is it guys i need to know whose is it and what is it and where's the signs there's nothing in it yet so maybe maybe i'm spoiling something maybe this is mid build but that is looking looks amazing looks very nice especially on the outside yeah we haven't even got an upwards elevator yet unless it's just one that you swim up What's all this? Uh-oh. Rockets? More rockets? Someone else has got a rocket and TNT and gunpowder shop. Wow. Okay, one diamond for three stacks. Wow, wee. If I didn't have my own, uh, yeah, my own farms of this, I'd be very tempted to buy those. But that is very, very good. That's awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I left the door open upstairs. Not to worry. Is there a sign anywhere? It does look like it's a work in progress by the looks of the fact that there's chests everywhere. But that's amazing. Really, really like that very very nice there's some very very cool things being built on this server right then time for a little bit of an update i've done quite a lot as you can probably see i've put all of these floorboards in the floor and this is just trap doors now i tried to make it look a bit rickety by having them different levels but you can't really adjust the level any more than that so it doesn't look particularly fantastic i've created lots of very small little rooms that have all got torches in at the moment because of obviously uh 
yeah, the, the light problem. We don't want mobs spawning in here. And I've been using dark or stripped dark oak wood for the walls to make it look a bit like run down and gross. I've put some iron bars up at the windows. None of the little rooms like this have got windows in. So I've blocked off all the windows from the outside. Yeah, and I'm basically just working my way around. So that now this room at the end, this is going to be the... Um, the owner's room, so this is going to be better decorated. I'm going to change some of these walls out to make it look like it's a little bit more more better. And the, these other little rooms here, all of these are the same size with no windows, and they're going to just have a little redstone torch in for lighting. These are going to be, uh, yeah, the, the room for the children, so, or the rooms for the children. And I'm trying to make it, or get rid of these torches to just try and make it a little bit darker, a little bit more dingy. Now, this one here actually takes us to outside, so that's what this door is for. But yeah, all these little rooms are just um, just for the for the people that are going to be living here in the hard done to or finished way. So it's not ready. It's not finished. There's a lot of work still to do on it. I need to do some decoration, some detailing, stuff like that. At the moment, I'm not very happy with this rickety floor. But there we go. This is this is the look I'm going for. This is the look I really kind of want for this place where it's just really dark and dingy and you know, not very nice to look at. I want it to look like it's horrible, but too much light shines through these doors, which is not good. I don't want the light shining through the doors. I want it to be all, all like, yeah, miserable basically. And it's very difficult to get that feel when there's so much light and we don't want obviously mob spawning. So I don't think mobs are gonna spawn on these and I need to do something with the walls. They're looking a little bit too bland and uninterested at the moment we need to do something with those just to make them look a little bit more detailed a little bit more interesting but yeah it's coming along it's coming on and it's it's getting there slowly but surely but we definitely need a lot more detail in this place well this has taken a lot longer than i thought it would take to be honest i've been working on this level for quite some time now so literally i've done nothing downstairs and i've done nothing on the top floor we can't even get to it at the minute because of all the sugar boxes but this level's coming together the rooms now they're a little bit nicer than I originally wanted them to be, but otherwise they just don't look like bedrooms. So they've got a bed, they've got a bookshelf and a redstone torch for, to make it nice and dim, and they've got sort of janky floors in there, so they look a little bit messy. Some of them have got cobwebs in. They don't look like the sort of rooms you'd want to stay in. They, do, they, they still look like horrible orphanage rooms, so I don't think it looks too bad. One thing I do want to do, though, is I want to put the doors on the other sides to make them inset because all of the walls in here are looking very very flat and I don't want this to look flat I want it to look I want it to look interesting and there's not a massive amount I can do really in terms of detailing on a lot of this stuff because you can't really well yeah this is, it's going to be difficult to make it look interesting because we want it to look run down and dingy and horrible one of the big things I've done though if we go down to the end is I've got rid of one of the little bedrooms and I've made this sort of the woman that owns this bedroom a lot bigger, a lot brighter and a lot nicer. And I've given her the balcony as well. So it makes it look like, yeah, this, uh, the lady that runs the orphanage is very, very spoiled. She's got a nice double bed. She's got pictures on the wall. It's all nice and bright in here. She's got lovely floors and everywhere else is all dark and dingy and run down and cobwebby and horrible. So yeah, we've got some sort of like a, like a big difference of uh, what it's like for the woman that owns it and obviously how she treats the children that, uh, that live here. And I keep saying, children, don't be thrown off. This is no orphanage for children, but it's that's the closest thing I can think of to explain what it is. And I'm not giving anything away yet. You're just going to have to wait and see. So at this particular moment in time, I don't really know 100% what I'm going to do with the rest of this floor. I might just leave it like this. I do kind of like it. Obviously, the signs are going to have... Uh, names on eventually but I don't want to put them on now because it will spoil what it is um, yeah but I, it's okay it's not too bad if you've got any ideas of what we could do to just make this look without making it overwhelmingly busy but make it look a little bit more dingy and run down then please let me know but I think we've got a pretty good effect going on here it does look like really really old horrible stained brown wallpaper so that's kind of got a good look going for it and the floor's okay it's not ideal but it's okay it kind of looks a little bit janky but it's not it's not the best. So I'm going to go upstairs now and I'm going to start working on this level. And like I said before, this level is literally just going to be a loft. It's just going to be full of junk and cobwebs. Not really a great deal going on up here. And again, very, very dingy. So we're going to need some flooring that's not going to attract mobs. 
Okay, so I realize this might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see because it's very, very dark in here, but when it gets lighter, it should be a little bit easier to see. What I've done is I've gone round with some kelp blocks and chests and furnaces and bookshelves and lots of cobwebs, and I've basically gone round with a few redstone torches as well, just to give this thing a little bit of light, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty much like an attic to me. Now, I've not done anything with this bit yet, only because I was concentrating on this area here, there's a lot of brickwork over here that we can probably get rid of. Now, if I put my torches in my offhand, we can see a bit better now because of Optifine. I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm very happy with how this is coming out. Well, I've just done something very basic with that. I've left most of it as it is, and I've just put this little pile of junk in the corner there, which looks okay. So it's pretty sparse, but there doesn't need to be tons and tons of stuff going on here. We can probably actually get rid of those as well i think we can and then if we put some more of these trap doors down here i think that will just finish that bit off there and then we could even sort of wrap those uh, cobwebs around there a little bit just make it look like they're spreading around okay i think i've pretty much done the stairs we've got this sort of little weird bookcase bit down here that needs some work doing on it and then we've just got the stairs which now link up level with both the floors so it comes out level there and then it comes out level with the top one as well so it looks pretty good it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's working out well. It's coming together nicely. The only thing I've got to do now is the downstairs area, which I don't know if I'm going to do today because I've been spending a lot of time building these two floors and I don't know if I've got time to do that today. So I might leave that and come back to that. We'll see. Okay, so I've had a little bit of a break. I've had the evening off. I've come back to it. It's the next day now, and I'm going to get cracking in here. So there's a few things I want to do in here. First of all, I want like a little reception area. I also would like a kitchen area, and again, like a hallway leading to the stairs. Now, there's not a massive amount of room in here, so it's going to be very difficult to fit all of that in. So what I'm thinking is sort of this area here... Now, there's a fireplace here, but we don't technically need that fireplace, but it does, does look pretty good. But I'm thinking, yeah, this sort of area here is going to be like, if you like, the meeting room. So this is, if we don't know already, this is an orphanage. So there's going to be somebody that runs this orphanage, and there's going to be, um, in inverted commas, children here up for adoption at a very, very high price, but not a monetary price. The uh, The players are going to have to... Well, you'll see anyway, but basically people, the players on this server are going to come here. They're going to have a meeting with the uh, the the person that runs the orphanage and that person's going to decide whether they are worthy to adopt one of the children. But the children here are going to be badly trapped. They're going to be not looked after very well. They're going to be working for, for the owner of this. So yeah, so I'm thinking this sort of area here would make the nice sort of office or maybe I could do this area here as the office like where they're gonna actually have the interviews and then we could make this area into the kitchen area I guess okay so I made a couple of changes before I get started first of all I put a floor in rather than the um, the nether brick floor just because I think this looks a little bit more well more fitting for what we've got elsewhere the ceiling is going to be blown box again I need to sort that out and I've created this doorway instead. I've got rid of what the door was before and I've put this here instead so we can actually fit a proper door inside there. So that's just changed slightly. I've got rid of the vines as well just so that I could knock it down and start it again. But I might put a couple of vines back on there and we just need to decorate around the inside so that doesn't look so strange. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more of these dark or these gray glass planes and I'm just gonna block that up. We don't need another door going out there. It was a nice idea that we would have like a garden, but we don't really need it. So I'm just gonna block that up and it just gives us a little bit more room to work with on the inside. So now I'm gonna work out on the actual room layout, then I'll put the ceiling in and then hopefully we'll be just about there. Okay, so I've done the kitchen and I've gone for a bit of a slightly cleaner sort of design, still sort of very gross looking wallpapery. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going for. If we get, again, I've gone for like the dirtier bottom trim and then the lighter bit at the top. And I think it looks okay. We've got like a, a table here. We've got a bit of a kitchen. I have had to get rid of the fireplace, sadly, to fit this in. But I think it looks pretty good. We've obviously got an oven there and a sink and things like that going on. I'm not sure what sort of era this is supposed to be, maybe like Victorian or something, but I quite like it. Obviously, it looks a bit weird like that because we've got none of the ceiling in here. But if you look in there, we've got the nice bone block ceiling, and I think it looks good because it's just got that, that stained look, like it's been around for a long, long time, and we've got the torches on the wall as well. It's costing me a lot of iron, this, for all of these uh, all of these anvils for the for the torches, but I think it adds, I think it really does add to it. 
There we go, I don't think that looks too bad. So we still need the glass in this window here and I've moved the front door again slightly just to make that a bit easier to get in. I think actually we need some lighting out here as well. So let's just put a couple of these up quickly for now. We'll put one there and one there and I don't have any anvils on me so we'll just pop torches in there for now. So yeah, that's gonna be the front door. You'll come to the front door, you come in and we've got this horrible pink, horrible walls everywhere and I think I just think it really suits it. We need some painting on the wall we'll come down here to the meeting room which I haven't done yet and then uh, this is just sort of like a, a random space I don't know what I'm gonna do without then maybe we can make it into a, like a study some bookshelves and things maybe something like that and then it comes around here and it leads to our staircase we well I think I'm just about there I'm not gonna go too crazy with decoration I don't want this to look nicer than it is I put a few paintings around just to sort of get rid of the blandness of the walls. I've um, I've created this sort of bench thing here and a couple of waiting chairs, a little bit of a lampshade. I've also put some stone uh, slabs in the floor in the kitchen because in Victorian times in that sort of area, you would have probably had a stone floor in the kitchen. So I've added that in there. And then if we go down the hallway a little bit, we've got this room here, which is like a little bit of a study if you like. Oh, and we've got no lights in here. So let's put a light in here quickly and I've run out of anv anvils typically. So let's just pop that on there for now. Uh, so yeah, we've got a little desk there and we've got some bookcases behind the wall. Again, nothing really exciting going on in there at all. And then in our meeting room or in the interview room, if you like, again, another couple of pictures on the wall. And then we've got these chairs here. So if you were like the client, you would sit on this chair here and obviously the, uh, the owner would sit there and you would be interviewed. So it's all coming together pretty nicely. The, the reason I wanted the downstairs area to look nice and clean and tidy it's because obviously to lure in the customer so you're made to think that this is really nice and all above board and obviously the customers wouldn't be allowed to go upstairs and see the abysmal state of the bedrooms where the poor children have to sleep and the the poor terrible living conditions and not being cleaned and everything like that so it's all about generating this sort of split between what they want you to think and what they want you to see and what's actually going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. So that's what it's all about. I'm quite happy with how it's come out. It's not what I had in mind at all, but it's sort of how it's all come together. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to make a couple more anvils. But all in all, I think it's okay. I don't think it's too bad at all. I've not looked at it from the outside and I have actually blocked up quite a lot of the windows. So let's just have a quick fly around. The roof is an absolute mob trap. They've got loads of mobs in the attic space, but that won't happen for long. We'll, and I'll explain why in another video. We'll also get mobs actually on the roof, which isn't ideal. But you can see a lot of the upstairs windows are really dark because none of the bedrooms have got windows. They're all they're all completely dark apart from the, uh, the owner's bedroom. That one's uh, very nice and bright. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it's how it's come along. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really impressed with the build job that the uh, the guys did when they put this together. And I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for today, except for uh, to sign out, I guess. I've got a big, whoa, look, we've got a creeper in here. We don't want creepers in there. Yeah, I've got a lot of mess to tidy up and I've got a lot of little bits and bobs just to finish off. But for today's episode, I think that'll do. So. As usual, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully, just want to make sure that creeper's not coming. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!